Hello, and welcome to Devin's Storytime, Episode 2. Yes, I am a cat. The Prince and the Gestapo, Part 1. Once upon a time, there was a prince whose or orifice hurt like a fish. He decided that the best thing to do would be to visit the police, as only the police could have the audacity to extinguish a forest fire as it is only doing its job. I mean, what did the poor little fire ever do to them? As the prince entered the building that he could not recognize, because he was an idiot, he stumbled upon a lady at the front desk. Get off of me, the lady said as she called McDonald's for her daily heart attack. As this occurred, a woman who looked like she ran the place walked through the front door. Would you kindly help me with my orifice, the prince awkwardly said. Sure, said the janitor. As she proceeded to undress, the prince ran to the elevator and pushed the button leading to the highest floor, as everyone knows that only the person in charge dwells on the highest level. As the prince prepared to exit the elevator, he donned his wizard hat and robe and got out his spell book. Until he realized that he wasn't currently playing a game, and that his orifice truly was in danger. He burst through the only room, exclaiming, My orifice hurts like a fish! The only response he received was, Sea Kitten, from the person at the desk. What? The prince said in absolute confusion. Please say Sea Kitten instead of fish in this establishment. The prince finally decided to look around, and realized that he wasn't at the police station as he first thought, but instead was in PETA. I've got to get out of this deranged place, the prince stated as he made a break for the window, as the only logical way of leaving PETA is to leap from a 50-story window. Not so fast, Spe Special Agent Gerard, said the person. Your final assignment has come. Today, you must assassinate one of the most difficult targets ever known, the minds of everyone in the States. The prince began to think about wh what has just been said to him. Assassination? Special Agent? Gerard? Was PETA really this shady underneath their clever guys? And if so, does that mean PETA is not nearly as idiotic as we thought, but are more deranged than we can possibly imagine? As these questions filled the prince's soul, he began to think about how truly precious his life was to him. His mind began to clear, and he began to realize that he should have gone to a doctor or a hospital, and that fish, let alone sea kitten, was never a proper word to fit his simile used to describe the pain he was in. He thought of the family he once lost, and remembered that he could find them in the dungeon, where the guards may or may not have fed them to keep him alive. The questions piled up, and their importance grew. If Eve had never eaten from the tree, would the prince's orifice hurt? Had he left a pie in the oven? The prince's quiet contemplation was interrupted by the piercing lunacy of the person before him. Would the prince be able to mentally and or physically accept the task put before him? Find out next time in part two. <laughs> the end. <laughs>